Most planes use fuel to power engines. Concorde used fuel to stay balanced, literally. At twice the speed of sound, the center of pressure moved so far aft it threatened to pitch the nose downward uncontrollably. So Concorde did something wild, it shifted fuel around the airframe just to stay level. The aircraft had 13 fuel tanks, but not all were for endurance. Some were there purely to manage trim. Fuel was pumped forward during acceleration, then backward during cruise to balance the shifting aerodynamic forces. This was not handled by autopilot. It required manual input from the flight engineer, watching airflow, center of gravity, and constantly tuning the load. Flying Concorde was not like managing fuel. It was like flying a teeter-totter at twice the speed of sound. At supersonic speeds, shock waves caused the lift point to slide backward. If the center of gravity did not match, the plane could become unstable or unflyable. Trim tabs would not cut it. Fuel became the control system. So next time someone says Concorde was just fast, remind them it flew on physics, balanced by fluid with precision most airliners will never touch. It did not just move passengers, it moved fuel to stay in the sky. Twice the speed of sound, 60,000 feet, powered by math and pumps.